when you're buying a new pair of headphones. A term you often see headphone manufacturers brandish in all of their products is the driver size, which is supposed to indicate the overall quality of the headphones. But what does it actually mean and how can you take advantage of this term to make a proper buying decision? Let's find out in our video today. The driver size comparison is not a fad that's just trending to make the products appear more appealing. When buying a new audio product, you need to know what kind of driver and size you're getting from it along with the other specifications, which makes you realize the kind of impact this small feature has. Fortunately, it's not exactly rocket science to figure out the driver sizes and types and we are here to help you with that. First up, you might be wondering, does driver size matter in headphones? Well, technically, no. You see, apart from the drivers, there are many other factors in a headphone that have a greater impact on the audio quality such as the tuning, design, build quality, materials used and so on. Therefore, it's more important to look at the driver technology rather than the size. The one thing you need to know about the driver size is, the bigger the better as in louder. But considering the aforementioned specs and the balance between them, it's possible for a headphone with a smaller driver unit to sound better than a headphone with a bigger driver. Also, the bigger the driver, the louder the sound, yes true, but you gotta deal with distortion and inaccurate audio reproduction. With that out of the way, let's talk about the most common types of drivers you'll find in the market right now. Also known as moving call drivers, these are the most common driver tech that offers an excellent combination of audio quality and affordability. They come with a neodymium magnet that helps to produce a static field while containing a diaphragm inside attached to a voice coil. These are good for bass response and mids, but at higher volumes can be prone to harmonic distortion. These are the kind of drivers that you'll find inside IEMs. A balanced armature driver is relatively small and comes with two permanent magnets with a magnetic armature suspended between them. These drivers excel at reproducing highs but lack a good base due to the design. You can alternatively equip your IEM with different drivers to suit your needs though, so you win either way. Also known as orthodynamic drivers, these are commonly used in open back headphones. Containing two large magnets, this driver comes with a wire pattern membrane that's embedded within. However, these drivers often require a dedicated amplifier to get the most out of them and are comparatively pricey. But they take full responsibility for producing superior sound with little to no distortion at loud volumes with heavy bass. The rare ones of the bunch, electrostatic drivers are only found in the flagship and uber high quality headphones since they are very expensive to produce while also requiring an amp. When powered up, the current creates an electric field making the diaphragm move back and forth depending on the polarity. Although not portable, an electrostatic driver is the one you get when you want no compromises regarding sound quality and the most realistic sound stage. With these, we come to the size. For over-ear headphones, the most commonly found sizes are 40mm, 45mm and 50mm. And when talking about earphones and earbuds, you'll be getting 10mm, 11mm and 12mm. The bigger the drivers are, the more possibilities of distortion at a louder volume so we'd suggest keeping a handful of options. While comparing the drivers, size should not be your only element for coming up with a final decision. You could check out some reviews from our channel and get yourself some information regarding the other technical specifications which should be your top priority. When you're looking for a bigger driver, please don't go for the affordable ones unless you're okay with distortion. Which actually makes you wonder, is bigger always better? Well, we assume you already know the answer to that by now. So that was the video on Does Drive Size Matter? We hope you liked the video and learned something from it. Do let us know if the video made even a dent in your purchasing decision as we would love to hear from you. And as for everything audio, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want more videos like this on your feed.